Hey everyone, my name is Nick, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to get your Path 2Ds and any sort of instanced child scenes that are following along that path to actually behave according to your Y sort. Um, so on the left here you can see that this little firefly is going along its path, but it's always in front of the tree. And on the right you can see that this firefly is both behind the tree and in front of the tree when it's supposed to, according to the Y sort, as it goes along its path. Um, so I do have another devlog coming up pretty soon-ish, I think. Uh, so hopefully this won't take too long and hopefully you'll find this useful. So just to show you how I've set this scene up, I have my two trees, which are both scenes, and my player character here. And for the Firefly, I have an area 2D, an animated sprite with two frames of animation just looping really quickly, and a collision shape. And we're not actually going to use the collision shape, but I put that in just in case I want to use this bug in another tutorial. So let's take a look at what we need to do next, and that is add our path 2Ds. So let's add the first one. So I'm going to add a child node that is a path 2D to my sort of main scene over here. And as a child of that path 2D, I'm going to add a path follow. So all paths need a script attached to them in order to get any children to start moving along the path. So to this path 2D, I'm going to attach a script. And since I've already done this before, um, I'll just break down what is in the script. We have an onReady variable that is just the path uh, follow 2D. It just makes it a bit easier to reference it later on. And then as part of a physics process, we are getting the offset of the path follow 2D, telling it to change this amount for every sort of iteration of the physics process. So you can make it go faster or slower, whatever it is you want up going along your path by changing this amount right here. I'll just leave it at 100 for now. Okay, so to this path, I'm actually gonna draw the path itself. And rather than close it manually, I'm gonna click on the close curve, and there we go. Um, so I'm going to click on the select control points button in the toolbar here and try to give this a little curviness. So at this point, I'm actually going to duplicate this path. Um, so the child of the path follow 2D is what is going to be different. Uh, but these two paths otherwise are going to be similar. So I'm going to duplicate that and move the second one over to this other tree. Okay, so for the first path here, I'm going to add a bug scene as an instance directly to the path. And probably can't see it right now because it's I think it's behind the tree, but if I click on path follow 2D and set the offset a little bit, there we go. Oh, it's actually in front of the tree, but just wasn't showing up yet. That's okay. I'll set the offset so it uh, starts right there. And just to make sure it's at least moving along the path, let's go ahead, save and play. There we go. So the bug is not actually following the correct direction yet. Let's change that. To get the bug to sort of follow the correct direction, uh, we're going to rotate the child instance. So if I go over here to bug and down to transform and rotate, uh, that looks pretty good. Let's save that and see what this looks like. There we go. So one of the things that really tripped me up while trying to do this is figuring out what exactly I was supposed to be rotating. For example, do I rotate the path 2D or do I rotate its child? 
Um, and I think you're supposed to rotate the lowest uh, node in the tree. So of your path 2D, whatever's the lowest, or I guess the furthest down the tree child, in this case it's the bug, uh, which is an instance of the scene, that's what you want to rotate. And that took me a while to figure that out because I kept getting really weird sort of rotation patterns and it wasn't following the path correctly, it wasn't rotating along with the path as it went around until I set everything else to zero and rotated only the last thing in the tree. Our first path and our first firefly is complete and it always appears to be in front of the tree. So for the second one, we want to make it so that it obeys the Y sort. And for this, we're going to do something a little different. To our Y sort, we're going to add a child uh, scene, an instance child scene, another bug. And it shows up up there. That's OK. Um, but as a child of the path follow 2D, we're going to add a remote, oops, remote transform 2D. So if you add the bug scene as a direct sort of child of the path, the path itself doesn't really follow the Y sort or behave according to the Y sort. But if you put the instance child scene in the Y sort directly, and then sort of virtually assign it to the path follow 2D, which is what remote transform does, then it will still obey the Y sort because that's where it actually is. So in the remote transform, we have to assign it another node or scene or whatever in order to sort of inherit that those properties. So I'm going to assign it to that bug that we just put in our actual Y sort and click OK. And here you can see right away, the bug is now behind the tree. And so now we just have to actually set the rotation. So as I said before, you want to rotate the sort of lowest or last child of the particular tree that you're working with. For this path 2D, it's remote transform. So I'm going to go to transform and rotate and just rotate it so that it looks like it's following the path. All right, that's pretty good. I'm going to save that and let's play and see what happens. So it's going in front of the tree and behind the tree and there you go. So it should work regardless of whatever it is you're using as a child of the path follow 2D. If you need to get your bugs or whatever it is you're animating moving in and around different sprites according to their uh, Y sort placement, that's how you do it. Uh, so I hope you liked it. I hope you actually learned something and it can help you out with any problems that you're facing. Uh, please leave a like and maybe consider subscribing if you like the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks.